and gentlemen, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news at 7. I'm finger looking good, joined by my co anchor Ginger Spice, and we're here to bring you the news. This just in. Uh, there is a local hullabaloo about Bruce Jenner wanting to become a woman. And uh, shortly after he made that decision, his now ex-wife, Chris Jenner, has decided to become a man. <laughs> Your thoughts on the situation, Ginger? Well, I, I don't have any thoughts on that at all. <laughs> Alright, we're now going to turn it over to weather with our very own Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> okay, so it's raining inside my heart. <laughs> and it's like really windy. Okay, so like make sure you don't get whipped by the wind. <laughs> it's like so about this. Like the weather is so important to me. I just love the weather. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a we have a we, we have a local murder in the area developing very unfortunate. Um, we are now going to turn it over to our on the scene reporter Ladeja for more information. What do you have to say about the murder that's going on? What? The murder. Um, well, uh, you know, uh, it's just a There's one and uh. And some other stuff. Uh, are you feeling okay? I'm waiting my hand. She's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the 6 o'clock news at 7. If you have any information uh, leading to the arrest of this murderer, call 1 800 JOHN Is. Improv is acting without a script and straight from the top of your head. So we will be playing a series of improv games today, and you guys will be the judges, but sadly you can only judge us in your heads. Okay, so the first game we will be playing is called Press Conference. So I will need John. Yes. yes. Okay, so John will be delivering a press conference, but the um, thing is, he doesn't know why he's delivering this press conference. Well, we will choose a random scenario or character for him. And our three reporters, Jack, Brendan, and Aaron, they will be asking John a series of clever questions in clever ways so that he can guess why he is delivering this press conference. And if you don't get it, go catch on and go along. Okay, John, if you could please go outside. All right, so. All right. John will be Dora the Explorer announcing that she is pregnant. <laughs> All right, let's begin the press conference. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, for uh, joining me to this press conference on such short notice. Uh, I apologize. I had to go feed my cat. Um, but nonetheless, I'm here. 
Uh, so please ask as many questions as you like, and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Yes, you, sir. Uh, hey, my name's Chris. I'm an online blogger. I was just wondering, uh, were you exploring too much? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Great question. Okay. Yes, you, sir. Uh, Patrick from Rock Daily. Um, would you say Diego went too far? <laughs> Diego was just right. <laughs> yes, you sir in the middle. Antonio from the hospital. Uh, did Swiper s swipe anything? <laughs> <laughs> Not that you know of. <laughs> yes, you sir. Uh, now, just wondering, um, Central will probably get fired from Nickelodeon. Do you plan on working with maybe MTV? <laughs> uh, Yes, actually. I've just signed a contract with them. I will be hosting a new show with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yes, you in the middle. Now, how does your furry friend uh, with the boots feel about this? Um, he does not want to come. <laughs> oh, yes. You, um, you have all those things in your backpack. Uh, why, why didn't you have protection? <laughs> um, we'll see. Uh, what was going on was, uh, no comment. For our final question, uh, who are you? I am Dora the Explorer, and I'm pregnant. <laughs> with unusual characters or personalities that arrive at this party. And when a character arrives, you will hear... Thank you. <laughs> and um, they will come in and display this unusual character or personality. And when, they, when Lucas guesses who they are, I will ring the bell like so. And they will return to their seat. Everybody got that? Okay. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, you are a taste tester openly educated on milk. <laughs> Cassidy, you are a cat who likes the smell of body odor. <laughs> Chloe, you are a gospel singer who worships the devil. <laughs> Uh, Ladeja, you constantly sing Taylor Swift in an irritating voice. <laughs> Jack, you are a fish fresh out of water. <laughs> and Aaron, you are an angry Mickey Mouse. And John, you are Dr. Seuss struggling to come up with new rhymes. <laughs> Alright, somebody please bring um, Lucas in, please. Let's begin our game. <laughs> All right, you to get this party started. I got my food, I got my snacks, I got my drinks. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing my music. Oh, let me turn from my music. I feel pretty. <laughs> oh, so pretty. <laughs>
sir. What do you What do you need? Oh, are you having a seizure? I think you need a No, Search amendments. 
thing. <laughs> All right. Well, Johnson, uh, I believe for the final step, you need to go grab that bag over there. All right. Okay. How do I stand? Uh, so we're going to jump right into the next game, which is called The Dating Game. I will meet John, please be the bachelor of The Dating Game. And Brittany, Ladeja, Cassidy, and Chloe, you are all contestants on The Dating Game Show. Uh, John, go outside, please. Okay, okay so what's going to happen, I'm going to give these four lovely ladies each a character, and John's going to ask them a series of questions and have to figure out who they are and who, who he wants to go on the date. Okay, so... All right, so Chloe, you are a drunk Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, Ladeja, you are a teacher in love with their student. Oh my. Cassidy, you are a model obsessed with critiquing other people's flaws. And Brittany, you are a stressed out yoga instructor. Uh, you have to come on in and let's we'll start the dating game. <laughs> uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Or, ladies, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm Brandon Holmes, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm a cast member, I'll just go with it. And uh, my mom said that I need to go and, uh, and then find a date, and so I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Alright, um, this is a question for all four of you. Um, I am big into falconry, um, and I, that, that's just one of my hobbies, it's my passion. And I want to know what your passion is, what do you love to do? Contestant number one. Um, 
going to guess now. Contestant number one, you are Harry Potter and you are hammered. <laughs> Um, contestant number two, you are a crazy yoga mom, yoga lady, yoga instructor. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> contestant number three, you hate me. <laughs> you are just a really rich girl. A, a model. A model. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. And contestant number four. I love it. <laughs> My naughty third period teacher. Alright, looks like we're now on Mark with John. And uh, for party supplies, but one of you is illiterate. New choice. You go to a party? New choice. You go home? 
home? Can you go to your boyfriend's house? Uh-huh. Honey, put your foot up here. Honey, you have dirty toenails. Honey, you have dirty feet. Honey, your shoes are ugly. Honey, where are you getting these shoes at? Are you at Walmart? Walmart, honey, you have to shop there. New choice. Do you have girlfriend? New choice. <laughs> New choice. Do you have a mother? New choice. <laughs> um, do you have a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Miss Pussy. <laughs> New choice. <laughs> New choice.